Welcome back to the garage. As you can see, we got the Bronco back in here. Um, been wanting to try to fix that problem. If you've been following along, you've seen on the Utah trip and the Big Bear trip, how we get this problem after some hours of load with it loaded down, um, that it starts to get this weird, like, running problem where it ends up eventually stalling out. So I've been trying to want to, I've been wanting to fix that. And um, so I thought, you know what? Maybe it's an O2 sensor. Cause I had another car where it had some weird problems when the O2 sensor went out. So I was thinking, well, you know, maybe that's it. So went ahead, I got an O2 sensor and then I crawled into this thing to fi fix it, to change it out anyway. And uh, check out what I found. So it's a little hard to see it, but let's see. go you can kind of see it so you can see where the wire comes up off of the o2 sensor and then it goes to its connector you see how it's all melted right there so i think that's going to be a big part of our problem or at least i'm hoping that's our problem right there uh, if nothing else it is a problem so i went ahead and got an o2 sensor which i'd already had but then i also from napa called the local napa and was able to get a pigtail for it so Got to cut that messed up connector off, get this wired back up, throw this on it, and uh, hopefully we'll get rid of that problem. Now, if you, like me, like to off-road your truck quite a bit, safety glasses. That's where it's at when you're underneath right, these things. So we got it out. You can see the connector a little bit better now. Look at that. So we actually had some exposed, looks like a little bit of exposed metal connector in there and stuff. So, you know, maybe this had something to do with it. Maybe this was just going bad, we're hoping. Um, so now we've got to do, we're going to cut it off and then we just got to make sure we match up all the wires the right way, the way they are on here. Hard to really tell what color these are, but we'll figure it out. There it is. So basically what I did, took my old connector here and Made sure I knew like how the wires were coming out of it, what wires they were going to over here on this side, the white and the black. And um, basically just lined it up with the, the new connector and hooked them up. I'm gonna go ahead and put like a, a little bit of like um, that sh wire sheath stuff over it too, keep it all together. I did make it a little longer than it was, which um, I'll have to make sure I, I like zip tie the wire up so that way it doesn't end up touching the exhaust or anything and, and causing another problem. But uh, I really didn't want it to be dealing with little nubs and stuff. And I, I couldn't really cut it any shorter up in here because it was already kind of hard to deal with. So um, it is what it is. Let's get this thing put back together. Here we go. Looks like it's supposed to be there now. Let's get the O2 sensor in, get it all connected up, fire it up, <laughs> make sure I did it right. We got that O2 sensor on there. We got the wiring all connected and kind of zip tied out of the way and everything. Now let's see if we did this right and see if this thing starts before we button it all the way back up. Take a test drive. All right, so I think we are fixed. Just drove it for probably about 40 minutes and it just purring away smoother than it probably has since we actually went out to Utah. So I think we at least fixed a problem. Uh, we won't know if we fixed the problem until we actually try to take it on like a few hour trip all loaded down and stuff. But for right now, we definitely made it better. Um, so that's probably about what we're going to do today. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. We got more content coming for you and uh, you have a good day and we'll see you next time on Tag Garage.